What's up you goobers? Today I'm going to be showing you something, a simple tutorial of how to add your friends into Roblox Studios. So let's say you're like me and you're working with some friends and you're maybe wanting to make a game that would make it on the front page. Or maybe you just have a friend and you guys want to make a game together. That's what I've done with my friend Dark Xhawk. We made a game together. But you want to add them to your game, which if you don't know how to do it, it's kind of hard to do. Well, I mean, here that's what I'm here to show you is how to add your friend to your Roblox Studios game. Now, something as a few updates ago with Roblox Studios, it used to be way easier to add your friend. Now it's kind of hard, and I had a, I know it was pretty simple, but I had a hard time adjusting because it was way easier back then. But um, I'm going to show you how to do it 2020. So what you're going to first want to do is you're going to, going to go to your Roblox Studios, you're going to open it, it's going to probably update, basic stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your game that you want to add your friend to. And if you were in it recently, it's going to be on your recent, and here's my game. So you click on that, it's going to probably take a while because Roblox Studio is depending on how many bricks you have, all that stuff, etc. So you're going to have to wait a bit. Be a little bit annoying. All right, here's my game, right? So this is the game I've been kind of working on. Um, now let's say I'm a good builder, right? You might be a good builder, or maybe you're a good scripter, right? So here's the thing: I may not be a good builder, but I might have a friend who's a good scripter, and so I would add him into the game to help me script, and you know that makes a much better game. Two people, play, you know, building one game makes it faster and easier. So what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to go to view up here uh, you're going to click view now what you're going to do is push team create right here you're going to click that and this box right on the bottom left under explorer it might be on your right it's going to pop up so what you're going to do is you're going to click turn on now what this is going to do is it's going to save your game so if you have any progress it's going to save it and it's going to reopen so don't worry about it, it may take a couple seconds because you know roblox studio is that way but it's going to take a bit I never knew why Roblox Studios take so much. All right, so it's gonna open on its own. Don't worry, it's not like it's gonna unsave. So you should be all good with your stuff. All right, so here's my game. So what I'm gonna wanna do is on the bottom left, you see it's, there's my little icon, my username. I'm gonna go to home and I'm gonna click game settings over here with the gear. You can click that and here's your information for your game. You can change your name add a description a thumbnail you know icon a lot of even videos that's cool you can all that stuff so what you're going to do is go to permissions right and you can change if your game's private meaning no one can play it public anyone can play it or just your friends so you want to scroll down a little bit here and you're going to want to type in whoever your friend is so get your username and type it in. So let's say I want to add my friend Stockton77, which is my alt basically. You're just going to type in Stockton777 or whoever you want. Okay, first thing, I think they have to. Wait on. Oh, they don't even have to be your friend. That's cool. You can just add anyone you want. They don't even have to be your friend. I didn't know that. Anyway, I'm just going to X close that. Let's pretend I'm just adding him for the first time. Their name's gonna pop up. You click it. Make sure you click edit. See, let's say your game is on private, like mine is. If you just want to add your friends so they can play it, click play. If you want to let them come in and build, then click edit. So now they can edit. So you can click save. Now it's good. So now you're gonna have to go back to your your Roblox. Click right here, create. And you're gonna have to find your game. So luckily I named it pretty easy name here women place number sweater zero two you're gonna click this second button right here right here it's gonna open and here you go see like you can even edit from here what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to copy your you know your URL and then you should be able to just give them you know right here give this to them on either discord or something and they should be able to do this right here too so it's a win-win, pretty easy, and well, I hope this helped you.